So I thought I would show you this little project of mine. This is an LOL dollhouse, and we bought this for Amelia, uh, I don't know how many years ago, maybe two years ago, but as you can see, it has been returned to us. When we gave it to Amelia, I, t I told uh, Christina, I said, it, don't get rid of it. I said, because it, you know, they're expensive. I said, just give it back to me if you ever want to get rid of it. Um, it comes with this. I have a, no idea where this even went. I'm assuming it has something to do with the elevator on the side. I do have the other little hot tub that goes in here. And I don't know where this goes. I guess, I don't know, you set it up outside as a, as like a different area. I'm not sure. I'll probably just keep it over here against the wall. Uh, but they not only brought me back the house, they did bring me back all the stuff. So uh, we had bought her, we had bought her furniture, we had bought her um, all kinds of stuff. And uh, so there's that, that pool that goes on the outside, that little hot tub. Um, here's a car, but I'll get everything out and show it to you in just a minute. But the first thing I'm going to do is I brought some Lysol wipes up here. And so I am going to clean this because, um, she has written on this in a couple places. There was some writing. I saw some writing. Yeah, right here is some writing on it. And so the first thing I'm going to do is clean it out. figured out a couple things just looking at pictures. Uh, these glass uh, walls went up here and that uh, piece that I thought I was just going to leave sitting over here actually fits into the frame up there for an outdoor area. Um, I also figured out that these mirrors sit like this and then each one of these is supposed to have a black door and a gold or a black drawer and a gold drawer so I need to see if I have those. Um, and this, I don't know how, I'm assuming there's these little, uh, pins, like on the side of this, and they stick in here, but I'm assuming there's another piece or something that goes to that to make it 
stay because it doesn't want to stay in place. Uh, but that is exactly where that elevator goes. It makes sense. I just have to figure out how to, to get it to stick. Okay, well, I've got everything set up. I've, uh, there was no couch. They did not bring me back the couch that came with it. Um, I think there's other some other furniture missing, but I called them and told them that I was missing some stuff. So hopefully they'll give me the other stuff that I'm missing. But I put all the animals out here on the deck. <laughs> and the staircase, there's supposed to be a staircase. I don't have the staircase. So I don't know what happened to that. But I, that's how I set it up. We got a Christmas card in the mail today. This is from Thomas, and Thomas lives in Illinois. So thank you very much, Thomas, for your Christmas card. I will be hanging that up. I'm hanging them up in the hallway like I always do. And then we have a box to open from Eleanor. And uh, I believe Eleanor attempted, when it, I think when it left the UK, because this, this is, came all the way from the UK. I think when it left the UK, it was probably wrapped completely with Christmas paper. And uh, I don't want to show you Eleanor's address, but um, what, 90% of it? Oh yeah, the top gone. and the bottom. No, so, the top and the side. That's the only thing I had it on Eleanor, there. thank you though for the Christmas paper on it. I do like you the Christmas paper. paper I can see it and I do like it and I appreciate your effort. But it didn't make it all the way here with that on there. Okay, so. Ooh. Wicked Kitchen. That is so funny that they have Wicked Kitchen in the UK because haven't you tried some Wicked Kitchen on Lunchtime Review? That sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure we either we've tried something from Wicked Kitchen. I'm thinking, or I've seen it at Kroger. I know I've seen some stuff at Kroger. We may not have bought it though. Now that I think about it, it may not be on Lunchtime Review. It seems like I saw some Wicked Kitchen brand, maybe like overnight oats or some kind of oatmeal or something like that. And Kevin said, no, I don't want to try that. Anyway, we may or may not have on this channel or that channel, you never know. This is Wicked Kitchen, outrageously orange and chocolate cookies, double trouble chocolate cookies. Ooh, these say new. Uh, five chocolate orange slices. Bakewell slices. And five gold shimmer bakewell slices. Yeah, these have almond frangipan and sliced almonds, which that sounds terrific. Um, sounds wonderful. Oh, with raspberry. Mm, okay. It's bakewell. Those sound really good. These are not necessarily related. They were just together. M and S. Uh, Colin the Caterpillar. Ready to bake cookie kit. Four cookies. Bakes in 14 to 16 minutes. Four ready to bake extremely chocolatey cookies with colorful chocolate beans and mini Colin the Caterpillar faces to decorate. I like how they're calling them beans. They look like, uh, like, a, like an M&M type candy, although they're a different color. These are pastels, uh, so that'll be fun. And then this is Planet uh, kitchen. No, it's called Plant Kitchen, not Planet. I thought it was Planet too. When I it's, first looked at it's Plant. Plant Kitchen. It, it's only one letter. There's no E in there. It's only one letter different. <laughs> there's no E. Well, it's blue, you know. I, I thought it said Plant when I first looked at it. Too. Plant Kitchen Salted Caramel Cookie Dough. Six ready to bake vegan cookies studded mm -hmm. with salted caramel pieces. So that is another mix. I'm so, that says ready to bake. That sounds like you don't even need to mix it. I'm assuming you do. Ready to bake. I think you're, I think it's a. You mix. I think it's a mix, yeah. Ready to bake cookie made with, yeah, you're gonna need uh, preheat oven, remove all packaging, uh, use grease proof paper. I don't know. I think you just put it on. We'll find out when we open it, <laughs> when we do the review. Because over here, a pre made cookie like that, they'd be refrigerated. Oh, yeah, they would be refrigerated. Yeah, but. Uh, it says freezable. Um, yeah. Uh, this we'll is Warburton's gluten-free. We have had Warbur Warburton's. Um, oh, here's another one. I'm what are those one? things that I made out of the rings? Crumpets. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think we had that brand of crumpets. Um, 
that Sarah sent us years ago from the UK. Uh, this is Warburton's gluten-free vegan three chocolate orange and gingerbread squares. And those are thick. And then these are chocolate, raspberry, and hazelnut uh, squares. Very, very thick squares. Um, and it says uh, dark chocolate mixed with hazelnuts, freeze-dried cranberries, crumbled biscuit, and topped with raspberry powder. Sounds very good. And, and those look new to me. I've never seen those. This is New Jaffa Jonuts. Like a donut. Because it's not a Jaffa cake. It's a, not a donut. It's a Jonut. <laughs> I love that. And I love Jaffa cakes, but it does look like it has the texture of a donut. So that'll be fun. Ooh. You know, she said that she wanted to send me a cake. I wonder if this is what she was talking about. Mm -hmm. This is M&S Food Biscuit Meats Cupcake. Uh, biscuits, mince pie, oh my. Crunchy biscuit base meets lightly spiced sponge topped with vanilla, buttercream, and mincemeat. Well, it looks messy on the top, but I can see inside there, and it looks just fine in there. Probably where it got flipped over. So it made it. It made it. This is a vegan Kit Kat. That'll be fun to try. I don't think we've ever had a vegan mm -hmm. Kit Kat. And this is a... Uh, There's a car here, but I don't, I don't know what it says. So. Nomo. I think we've had this brand. No missing out. Uh, hazelnut, smooth, chalk bar, vegan, and free from dairy, gluten, egg, and nuts. I'm thinking we've had this, this brand. Not this bar. This brand. And then we have a Christmas card. And then you've got a Christmas present. Here. Angels of the North. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love that. Uh, there are some items from Tesco's Wicked Kitchen, which are all vegan. Also, Marks and Spencer cookie kits. And I'm taking a risk by sending uh, the cake. The biscuit. Yes. Uh, the other wrapped is your Christmas present. To Tammy and Kevin, I went to see the Angel of the North this year. I know you have already seen it. Yeah, well, but we've just it's seen it by. out the window. Yeah, yeah. how's it going by? Yes, that... Yeah, I love the card. I do love the card. That is the Angel of the North there up top. And, uh, yeah, I would like to, if I go back by in that area, I'd like to see the Angel of the North. But then I would like um, to go by the, we also drove by the Kelpies. Where was that in Scotland? Mm -hmm. I'd like to stop there drove too. By like three we drove by them and it's like, just stop for five minutes. Let I don't us know off. why they didn't. Yeah. They had plenty of time. I know. They just, they have their time and they, you know, they can't go off their time. But anyway, yeah. May not have been available for buses either. July 4th. Oh, diamond painting. Wonder if this is one like, like you do. Dog. I don't know. That's what it looks That's what like. It looks like. Huh. Oh wow. USA a land that I love. And oh, really that is exactly what that is. That that is so cool. Oh, I love that. It honestly, it looks like it would be a December. Probably like, probably like, yeah. It looks like it would be December because it looks like the mug is wearing like a Christmas sweater. It does look like Christmas sweatery kind of look, but I guess it's just. Uh, I wonder if they make one of these for every month. Probably. Uh, that is really really cool. And then you get all the little diamond dot pieces. Thank you very, very much. And this goes with it. This is what you put your little dots in and, and then you pick, pick them. them up with the tool. Thank you very, very much. Well, there will be a lot of uh, reviews coming from Eleanor. And Eleanor, you should be happy though because your cakes made it, so no worries there. So thank you very much. Well, Eleanor, unfortunately, we cannot try either one of these. These are actually sold in the refrigerated section in the grocery store. Both of these are. And so they, uh, you buy them cold. They're intended to keep cold the entire time you have them. And, uh, yeah, see, these are, these are literally... Uh, sold refrigerated and so there's no way these uh, the date on the box was November 30th 
and today uh, it's it's been like 11 days so there's just no way in the world that uh, that we could safely uh, feel like we were safe and not get sick so I appreciate the thoughts so so much but we will not be able to review these but I showed you this one so that's how that looks like so if you're in the UK I can at least show you what it looks like if you buy it and then this one it would be like for Americans, it would be like going in Kroger or Walmart and buying a, a roll of Pillsbury or the, the um, little uh, sugar cookies that are already stamped out with the pictures of reindeer or trees on them or something like that. And this is really cute. Um, so I'm sure the candies are, are fine, but I would not feel safe to eat these. So anyway, that is how they look like out of the package. And apparently they do have mixes that look very, very similar to this, but they're actually powder. So they're actually mixes that you would add water, um, egg, something like that too, and make it up yourself instead of being uh, refrigerated like this. We got a card, a Christmas card in the mail today from Shelby. And I looked at the card and I said, I've seen that card somewhere before. Where have I seen that card? And I said, that looks so familiar. And I came out in the hall and it is because, it'd be easier to show you this way. Look, look, Dan and Connie. Dan and Connie in New York have the same card as Shelby. I think that is so awesome. So Shelby, I am going to add your card. Uh, this is where I'm putting them. So the ones that are kind of folded, I'm putting them in the middle. And then the, the rest of them, I'm going to put down the sides. So since I have one that looks like this from Dan and Connie on this side, I'm going to add yours to this side. But thank you so much. I've got you in a different position right now. Andrew just left the house. He's been at work and a, a very kind um, employee that works with Andrew, her name is Ashley. She apparently does a lot of baking this time of year. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's all kinds of sweets in there. Yeah. <laughs> there yes, there's all kinds of stuff in this box. Okay, hold that one up. She said there are honey orange ginger. Um, so yeah, oh my goodness. There's two of these. There's two of these. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. There's a honey orange ginger. Then there are um she's got some rum balls in here. Yeah, I see them. These must be the these right here. Yeah. These must be the rum balls. No. Okay, and then we've got bourbon pecan blondies. She said they're half squares. Oh, these. Okay, those are bourbon pecan blondies. And then she said bottom to top. So we've got snickerdoodles. She said red. So those are at the bottom? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then she's got vanilla brown sugar cookies on top of those. That's this. The red, I'm assuming these red sprinkles. Snicker uh, Yes, and then she has a chocolate chip cookie, and then on the very top, cowboy cookie. Uh, these That's are- That's cowboy cookies, I'm assuming. These are Linzer cookies with apricot jam. Ah, uh, so the other ones that she was talking about is probably these then? And then she's got, she's got mm. shortbread. Yeah, she there's shortbread in here. eggnog, gooey eggnog. There's these. Oh wow, coffee house caramel, white chocolate oatmeal, and cookies with cranberry. And there's these. Oh wow, <laughs> all, kinds all of cookies this in looks it. absolutely it look really, really delicious. Good. I'm gonna have to, I'll have to take this out and point the camera at all this to show you yeah, everything that she made. But what the deal is, is you all are always asking me, what do you do with all that food when, you know, you can't possibly eat it all? And no. if it's like our favorite things, like ice cream and stuff like that, we keep it Fudge. or, or, or yeah, or <laughs> baked items, stuff like that, uh, that we keep it. But anything that we can give away, we give away. So Andrew is constantly taking food into work. And so to thank us for all that, she sent Andrew with this care package for us. 
So I'm going to point the camera down and I want to show you all this. And if you work with Ashley, if you're watching this, you're really lucky because uh, she, I can tell she spent a lot of money on this. And if Ashley happens to be watching this, I, we thank her very much. So this is the huge array that Ashley made. And apparently, I'm thinking Andrew told me that she makes them not only for the people that she works with, but um, also for where her husband works. She said she makes like a thousand cookies is what she told Andrew. Uh, so that is absolutely amazing. We're in Home Goods, and my sister would die. I'm gonna have to send her a picture of these because she has never seen one of these for Valentine's Day. I wonder how much these are. They're only $19. She would love that. They have all this stuff out for Valentine's Day. Look, I like this one. I've bought things from this brand before. Love and Cupcakes. And then behind me, we still have, of course, Christmas going on. Because, honestly, I didn't expect to see all this um, uh, Valentine stuff. Look at the cute little balls, though. Those are adorable. Look at the snow globe with the gnome. They have some cute stuff. That is uh, vintage looking. I'll tell you what, they're uh, busy in here. I wouldn't have thought they would be busy. We're like, we're in here instead of being on in here on a Saturday, we're in here on a Wednesday. And um, they're, uh, they're busy. Those are cute. Ashley would like those because she likes the, yeah, she likes the beaded ones. So they do have Valentine's mugs here. They're not the kind that I get. Um, oh, they have some up here too. Kevin, look at the great, this is a great big one. All the um, all the Christmas stuff will be gone, and it'll be replaced with Valentine stuff. Kevin thought he was gonna make it a couple weeks without getting in here. Uh, no, because we're gonna have to come back and look for Valentines. He must have spotted something. Oh, he likes that globe. If anybody likes Hello Kitty, they have some Hello Kitty. These are for Christmas, but they're Hello Kitty. Oh, and then they have a Mandalorian, they have um, Lady and the Tramp. Okay, so they are getting new Ray Dunn stuff in for Valentine's Day. So they have these sets. And then they also have um, these rolling pins that say only you. And they have cookie cutters which are huge. So, and then they also have these sets for your bathroom that are for your brushes and like cotton balls. Yeah. Oh, and these are forks, knives, and spoons. So that's like for a party. And then they have this ball that says love. And then they have canisters down at the bottom as well. So back here in the back, they have all kinds of furniture, if you're interested in furniture. But they have this that says kissing booth, open daily, pucker up, buttercup. <laughs> I think that's cute. I don't know where you would put that. Um, just show you whatever I see. Yeah, they have all kinds of furniture out. I guess a lot of people buy this stuff during the holiday. Not sure. 
They have more Valentine's stuff out. I'm thinking I have one that reminds me of that. And then they have blankets and stuff like that too for Valentine's Day. So they have more, um, like an indoor snowball fight. Um, they have more Valentine's stuff up here. Oh, yeah, that is, uh, that, that's all that is, is, is marshmallow. Yeah. Oh, like you put it over a mirror mm -hmm. or something? Look at this, uh, marshmallow thing. Yeah, that is literally a marsh, marshmallows. That's all that is. There's the garland, too. Love and cupcakes. all kinds of pillows. They actually have more Valentine's pillows. These are around like a side that they don't normally put stuff on, but they have all kinds of um, kitchen towels too. They have some cute little cups right there. Tell you what, they've got the Valentine's out full force. Oh, and look, if you like little dogs, they have plates and napkins, little dogs. That is really cute. mail to open for you. The, uh, I have a couple of Christmas cards. This is from, oh my goodness, look at that. It's pretty. Oh, I love it. It said general store on the outside of the envelope, like this. This is from Martin and Esther in Chicago, Illinois. And look how pretty this is. It's a 3D card, too. That's very, very pretty. Um, it says, Kevin and Tammy, enjoy the warmth, wonder, and magic of the Christmas season. Wishing you and all your family a blessed Christmas and happy, healthy New Year. Thank you for all you do. Warmest wishes, Martin Esther and Vicious the Chihuahua. <laughs> Chihuahua can be pretty vicious. <laughs> I swear it says vicious. Um Yes, they they can be pretty, pretty mean. Or at least sound like it. Yes. Uh, wasn't that what your parents had? Yes, Ace. Listen, they had this dog. It would bite anybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Yes, except for his dad. And the reason it didn't never bit me bite his dad is because his dad would feed it. This little dog would climb up in his lap while he was eating, and he would feed it. He never tried to bite me either. He didn't. I never went near him because he looked vicious. Um, this is from Catherine in Houston, Texas, and I love um, I love the uh, the envelope, uh, and it matches. I can see right now it matches the tree on the inside. That is a very pretty card too. That looks like um, a vintage uh, vintage tree. Yeah. I very much enjoy your channel and reviews. Thank you for all you share. Your tree is beautiful, Kathy. May beautiful moments and happy memories surround you with joy this Christmas. And then it has the words to, oh, Christmas tree, which I will spare you me singing. Um, I love singing Christmas songs though, but thank you all very much for the cards. Why don't you open that, this first? I believe this is for Kevin from Alicia. Now, it does not have Alicia's name anywhere on it, but, yeah. Alicia, does it, have, it doesn't have any paperwork in there, does no, it? No, this is just that. Alicia told me to be looking out in the P.O. box, and Alicia has sent Kevin these Metal Earth kits before. Um, that's cool. And she tries to find the most difficult ones possible, <laughs> which is nice. Hey, that's great because Kevin likes a challenge. Mm -hmm. He really does. Uh, to me, I pull my hair out. I like know? this. Just simply pop out the pieces and put the tabs in the, in the holes. <laughs> simply. Simply. So that's cool. Yeah. That's like one of the, it's up there on the scale. The, I, the scales, it's not quite to the very edge, but it's, it's pretty daggone close. I don't think... 
I bet you it's all the small bins for C3. I don't right. think you have any other set with two characters. Mm, no. I don't I think. think, I, think uh -uh. I don't think They're all have. singles. Yeah, because even like, like he has a train and the caboose and all that, the pieces in between. It doesn't go to, it doesn't like, it's not all joined together into one uh, piece. Yeah, it's all, it's all yeah, separate Yeah, this, I mean, and you can tell you make them separately, but it's on one Base. stand. He doesn't have any like that, mm -hmm. so that's, that's really cool. cool. That's cool, it's a big Thank box too. You. Kevin made chicken for dinner tonight, and I had to show it to you because it looks so beautiful. Uh, so we're having chicken and hash brown casserole. We used to only have this like, I don't know, for a nice Sunday dinner or something. Now we just have it on a regular Thursday night. We have a box to open for you and it says perishable. It was just delivered. And so I want to uh, get it open as soon as possible since it says perishable. I think it says perishable though just because it's chocolate. Um, it's says oh my gosh that's gorgeous uh to tammy and kevin merry christmas and happy new year to you both wishing you and your family all the best this holiday season jason in maryland and yes jason told me that he was going to send that's us perfect. some chocolate from baja's baja's chocolate um he has sent us the truffle collection and then this is a caramel at chocolates gift tube. So the, uh, the caramel gift tube has 12 pieces and the truffle collection has 20 pieces. And I, uh, it's wrapped in plastic. We, we, <clears throat> we have tried, uh, some Baja's, uh, chocolate bars, but I have seen pictures of their actual individual chocolates on Instagram. They are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is a gorgeous box. I it's will like tea. I will keep uh I will keep this. Mm, um, Even the inside the paper is pretty. Oh, it's it's beautiful. So, so um yeah, let me uh let me take a picture really quick of this before I open it and then I'll come back and show it to you and that way when we do the video, this will show you that uh if you, if you're interested, you'll watch the video. So we'll be right back. I brought it over to the counter so I could take pictures and then I told Kevin I said, "Well, should I just open it on camera?" Um, but I love, love the box. Um, so you're seeing it, we're seeing it together <laughs> for the first time. Okay, so let's see. It's like a big card. Yeah, it does. Oh, so this is like a, from the, uh, Katrina, this is from the owner, the owner of Aja's Chocolate, Katrina, and this is like, um, she's telling their story, and so this, um, alchemy. a history of alchemy, well, you know, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't going to say anything, but this looks like it would be like a giant tarot card, <laughs> and, and to some people, they may find that offensive or something, and that's why I didn't want to say that. I don't find it offensive, but some people might. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. But, um, so now we're getting a history of alchemy and, um, of course, alchemy doesn't mean necessarily. No, it doesn't at all, but that's just what, that's what it looked like. Yes. That's just what it looked like to me. And so anyway, you get this nice book, which I'll talk about each flavor right there. Black yeah. horse cherries. Well, talking about which some of I will, stuff. I will, yes, it's talking about, yes, fermented almond, apricot, black truffle, lemon, Cornish apple, black sugar, pistachio, sesame. So I'm sure these are the flavors in here. And then look at this. Wow. It's just beautiful, beautiful packaging. So then you get to this section. Does it smell like tea to you? 
Um, I can see where you would say that. Wow. Look at that. What's that thing in the middle? I don't know. I mean, you don't want to open it too much. Oh, it's a scroll. Hmm. It's actually a scroll. So and this... Look like planets. Yes, that is absolutely beautiful. Uh, Jason, thank you so, so much. I mean, this is... Uh, this is probably the most beautiful box of chocolate I've ever received. Mm, yeah, it looks I've like you get two received. of each. Yes, and then let's see what this looks like. Just open this. Because when we do the videos, we've usually already opened everything, and so I can, I'll try to show you again in the video. So these are just individually, we have black salt and pink salt. And so this is um, a dark chocolate with pink salt and uh, dark chocolate with black salt. So those will be uh, wonderful. Are there any, is there, oh, there, wait a minute, there's another one in the bottom. Okay, yes, you get, and then you have uh, Dulce de Leche, and these are in uh, dark milk chocolate. So, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. So you get four, five, 12, yeah, like it said, it said 12 pieces. Uh, so those are very nice too. Jason, thank you so much. We cannot wait to try these. We have a couple of pieces of mail. This, I would like you to hold this up to the camera. Um, this is from Sarah Ann, and uh, she uh, goes by Scribbles uh, on Instagram, and she had sent us a absolutely gorgeous picture of an owl that she drew. I mean, she is an artist. Um, her shop is www.etsy.com forward slash UK forward slash shop forward slash Sarah and Scribbles. It, I mean, it's really, really long. So you know what? I'm just going to link to it. I'll link to it below. Um, it's sarah.moxie at hotmail.com. Uh, I will link to whatever I can link to. Instagram.com is Sarah Ann Scribbles and it's A-N-N-E. Um, Sarah Ann Scribbles. Um, she, she draws people, she draws animals, and she does a fantastic job. I mean, it just, uh, it took my breath away when I opened that because it's amazing that somebody has that kind of talent. Kevin has I always said that he would love to be able to draw like draw that. Draw and make music. Play yes. music and draw. So then Can't do either one of them. We have a <laughs> card. I'm going to be careful not to show your address from the Skidmores in Kentucky. They live in Kentucky. Merry Christmas, the Skidmores 2021. Oh yeah, they have a gorgeous family. Look at her long red hair. Mm -hmm. Love red hair. I have different places in the house. I have pictures of, they're like, uh, they're older pic uh, pictures. I don't know, are they're like artwork, but it's like- uh, They're paintings. Paintings, yeah, of women with red hair. I just like red Ones hair. Ones with fairies. Actually, two of them are with fairies. Yeah, uh, this, it says, we've had the sweetest year with this precious family. We want to wish all of our family and friends a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love, John and Wilma. So this is the front of their car. If you were safe showing a picture, if you sent it to us. Yeah, you sent it to us and, and uh, you didn't tell me I couldn't, so I'm going to show <laughs> it. Yes. I love that. That's great. You were blurry. Oh, we are blurry. Come yeah. back. Come back into the light, Carolyn. Okay, now we have a box. It's got one thing in it. Yes! Oh my gosh. That's a big box. It was a big box for a big box. Um, this is... This is the box. Um, this was literally mailed from Sam's Club. Uh, my friend Josh <laughs> sent me this from Texas, and you know, he said he would bought it. Well, he's in Texas. He ordered it through at this, he, uh, well, Sam's he, Club and got it sent to us. No, he bought it at Sam's Club and mailed it from Sam's Club. Oh, while he was in Sam's Club. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know but, that was shipping. Even though I saw, he sent me a picture of this, and I knew it was from Sam's Club. You know, I never imagined it being that big. That's huge. It's not because it's from Texas. It's from Texas. That's true. Because everything's bigger in Texas, you know. 
Uh, but no, this is like the biggest bag of popcorn. The Sam's ever. Club size popcorn. Yes. Uh, but Josh, it told and me Costco. about it. Costco. Costco's the same. That's true. Um, honestly, though, given the preference, I'm gonna pick like Sam's, Sam's Club. Club. Sam, I like Sam's Club more. Um, but uh, I, he he sent me a picture of this, and I said, "Oh, thank you." Basically, thank you for sending it to me. But I said, "We no longer have a membership," and of course, when we let our membership expire in both places, then they come out with more um, store exclusive. But you know, sometimes our store never got those though. I know. Sometimes people post things or they'll like have grocery hauls in other parts of the country for uh, Costco or Sam's Club and I will check ours and it's like they never it. they never got it. They're never going to get it. There was some, so, like, it wasn't chicken salad, but it was some kind of dip of some kind. Uh, we never got it. i tell you what else we never got. Um, some kind of pickles. Uh, the p pickles we finally got, but we didn't buy them there. We bought them somewhere else. Yeah. We bought them at a regular store. Those Grillos, I think this is yeah. what they're called. I just think it was funny, though, that everybody was saying how good they were. It's like, we never got them. Something that I was looking for, though, I remember, is uh, those Ready Pack Bistro Salads. Mm -hmm. You could get them at either, I think at Costco. They were supposed to, you were supposed to be able to get like two or three in one package. Never got those here. Yeah. So, because I was thinking... Uh, they're not too expensive anyway, and it would be cheaper to be able to get two or three in one container. Yeah. So and just because they haven't won doesn't mean they haven't all. No. So thank you very, very much for sending this to us. Um, we will try to uh, review that, of course, as soon as possible because uh, I can't wait to try that. And, and uh, we've had the, like the races on the the pretzels, mm -hmm. and of course that's delicious. So we love drizzled popcorn anyway, so I'm sure we'll love it. But I'm going to uh, wrap up the vlog for this week. I'll be honest, I don't even know what's in the vlog this week. I just don't remember. We didn't do a whole lot. It's been one of those weeks to where like, uh, yeah, there's some home goods in there, <laughs> but we really, it's just been a lot of different things, so we didn't do a ton of stuff. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.